good day. Northern leaders to monitor Atiku Tinobu Peter Obi Kwankwanso campaign scrutinized manifestos. Aki Baba Med. Akim Baba Med is the spokesperson for the Northern Elders Forum (NEF), one of the six droves that hosted five presidential candidates in Kaduna recently, during which the candidates made presentations on their plans for the North and Nigeria ahead of the 2023 elections. The candidates include Ashwajibola Metinumbu, a candidate of All Progressive Congress (APC). Laja Atiku Abubakar, People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Mr. Peter Obi, Labour Party, LP. In this interview, Akim Baba made speaks on the Kaduna Palais and the aftermath accepts. We invited six candidates, five turned up, and exercised the privilege to address the North and the nation. And from their presentations, it was a great outing because you hardly get this kind of a platform. Secondly, it wasn't intended to be a decision-making platform. It was meant to provide the candidate an opportunity to engage the North and Nigeria directly on what they want to do about problems that are peculiar to the North and the nations in general and how they intend to tackle them and then to get a feedback in terms of what they have for us as elders and other stakeholders in the north. What represent challenges that should be taken up by the next president. So from our perspective, it was a tremendous successful exercise. What came up predominantly to you from that engagement? Was there anything that was surprising to you from the presentation of the five that turned up? The father they accepted to come at all, that was, who did you think was not going to come? We thought everybody would come, we expected everybody, so you were not surprised that the five turned up. Hmm. No, what is surprising about A is that this A, when this is a lot of diverseness, subsequent people saying this is ours, this is not ours. A group from the north sees groups from the north, one part of the country which has a stake in terms of whom becomes Mr. President, came together and said, why don't we call at least the front runner to Arewa House in Katuna and put them through a process that says, tell us what you will do for the north. And they all came except Senator Konkwanzo. Five of them came. Let me remind you because this is something you already know. This is a highly intensively politicized environment. People suspect everything. I was listening to a program which featured Kingsley, Mogalu, and some of the issues raised. They are a pension to me. This is a very little faith in her process, and there is a very little trust, which is why President Buhari, which is why President. Ari is going to find it very difficult to manage this transition in the redesigning of the national currency. Politicians are even more sensitive to this. Imagine what it means for a group of seas of Northern Group to say to four Southern candidates and two from the North. Why don't you come over and tell Northerners what you will do for them? The meeting was for the interest of the North who perhaps among the presidential candidates did a better job from this position of leaders of the North or this. I should let you know, before they came, we had sent them 10 issues in form of questions or propositions. What will you do about this insecurity, poverty level and education? The current things we believe represent the core concerns of the North. All of them, in the in one way or the other, address them alongside other issues. For me, I will say that all of them consider the issues we raised very seriously, and they paid adequate attention to them. What do you think the presentations? Now that you have listened to the candidates, pretend. Do you think that Nigerians have been presented with the best candidates that are available? I am afraid that question is a little bit 
asking now what is available in the candidate. That is the truth. We have 18 Nigerians who are being pulled out by their parties and we have to choose one of them. To answer your question directly, I don't think so. But we have a democratic process that is broken. You have to understand this. Substantially, the candidates that are contesting are people who fought to be where they are today. Whether we like it or not, they have spent anything between hundreds of millions and hundreds of billions. The amount of money you have determines the quality of your leadership. So money is going to play a major role in this election. Absolutely, it will even play a bigger role in the election. Is there anything that can be done to stop that? Yes, what we did in Kaduna can be sustained in different ways. You can actually take away the money as much as it is possible to do and try see if we can pre present in Nigeria more or less a clearer picture of the candidate. This is what they represent. This is what they look like. These are their thinking processes and they have other questions like, are they thinking through some of the issues like we have them in Kaduna? What do you want to be? President after President Buhari, is it to fulfill your personal ambition? Is it because you have the money to contest? Is it that you want to rescue the country? And if you want to do that, how are you going to do that? The personality of some of these people in the minds of many Nigerians play a major role in who becomes president. I hope so. They should. When it becomes impossible to distinguish in terms of these are ugly experienced people. Atiku Abokaka was vice president, Balati Nambu was governor for eight years, Peter Obi was governor for eight years, Senator Kongosu was governor for eight years. These are ugly experienced people in terms of management of people. They are also people with enough money which enable them to get to where they are now as candidates. So the personality should be scrutinized absolutely they are already scrutinizing themselves yes it was interesting watching them speak and throw banters on each other but that was not what we were here for ours was a very serious business but politicians will always do this what we did was simple to focus their attention on issue and then to put them before cameras and then nigerias Look at them and look at what they are saying. Look at what they promise and make a judgment. Peter will be talked about purposeful government saddled with issues such as security, unity, economy, education, etc. He then asked Nigeria who should be trusted among the candidates. What is your take? Yes, this is quite interesting and this brings us to the point where Peter Obi was trying to answer one question we sent to all of them. Why should we trust you? Why do you think you are the best candidate? In that meeting, each of them had 30 minutes presentation first and then the question and answer section. All of them had 10 questions in advance, two weeks to study the questions and set up terms to prepare response. One of the questions we sent to each of them in advance was, tell us why we should trust you why should they not trust you not because you are wealthy what is that makes you and not any of these other 17 candidates more deserving our trust what are those things that not a nigerian should expect towards 2023 polls if you listen to these there are three particular Tinumbu or Tiku and Peter Obi, they were talking in general terms, but everybody will say you have to address the poverty in the north. Everybody will say you have to address insecurity. Everybody will say the north cannot continue like this. But what we were looking at was specifically what we were agreed about the engagement is that we are going to follow this candidate to the campaign, take their manifestos, go through them very meticulously and this is very important. I hope that our part of the country will find a way of keying into this. If it can be replicated in other ways, it should be done. We need to press this candidate to be more specific in terms of what they want to do. Everybody is talking about security. I can see that five Southeast governors are lamenting the spate of insecurity in their region, challenging these people 
including Prince Aubi, to tell you what they want to do about Southeast. Whatever happens about in Nadekano, whatever you do, you are going to end up with a major security problem in your hands. What happens, for instance, if President Buhari attempts to redesign the Naira ends up in fiasco and you end up in a situation where you now have to address the fundamentals in peace card and monetary. Nigeria really needs to press our candidate. We need to find out who among these people should be trusted. Please do your own work to scrutinize the personality of this 